How's it going guys? So in today's video, we're gonna do something different. We're gonna take a break from the speed and then we're gonna go ahead and work on that. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna do here is get some wheels on there. Actually, it will be probably the last thing you'll see. Uh, I'll probably clean it first in this video and then show that wheel last because I know you guys are going to skip right when I show the wheels. You're probably just going to cut the video off and get on with your day. So I'm going to make a wait to the end of the video. So I took off, well I took out all the pieces that were removed from the car, all right? So I gotta install all these parts back in. So that's from the shifter, that's from the uh, steering column, ashtray, the door, and then this is a divider in the back seat to get to the trunk, and that's the trunk panel. Because the problem is that the uh, trunk release mechanism is missing a plastic clip. It's a little plastic clip that holds the rod that actuates the uh, the release. So that one broke. I gotta get a new one. That's I think that's they sold that in auto parts. Super cheap. If not, I'll get it online. So that's why this thing is off. Because to open the trunk, you have to do it from the inside. Hit the uh, manual trunk release. But yeah, so fix that and then install the rest of the stuff. Very simple, nothing to it. So I'm gonna move on to, actually let's do the door. All right, now that that's done, let's go ahead and do the uh, center here. It's just the nuts on the shifter and then the uh, ashtray and the center. Missing some screws. There's 
one here, but I think it's not from here. Let's see. Oh, it worked. So this one looks way too big. That's what she said. All right. Well, just going with one screw, I guess. This car is full of mysteries. Let me see if I have a screw on my uh, my box of screws. All right, I got three different options here. Hopefully, one of these works. Let's see. Like it works. Yep. The damn trash truck. Jesus Christ, so noisy. We got it. It's ruining the video, man. Get my trash truck. It's very important. Alright, it's, it's still going. It's not that loud anymore, so I'm gonna go ahead now and do this section right here. And uh, I have to fix this, it's, it's broken. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I gotta fix a bunch of stuff in this car, but what do you expect? It's uh, 2008. I mean, I mean 2004. It's had a rough life. New shift not for sure, new steer wheel, this one's pretty uh pretty effed up. Well, Alright, it's looking like a car again. Alright. I was I'm running out of battery, I didn't record that, but it's pretty easy, it just clips in place. And then that's what I gotta do next. I gotta fix the trunk and put this plastics back on. This thing cleaned up real nice. Got the interior. Didn't clean the inside, but they put it together. And it looks like a complete car again. The paint is still messed up, but at least it's not full of mold, you know. Looking nice, looking nice. I gotta get rid of that rust. Which, I got the thing just for that. Let me show you guys. So the CX-7 that I worked on, many of you saw it. It was packed with rust. And this thing, this thing is one of the products I use for it. And for live rust, like surface rust, it works great. It really gets rid of it. In about 10 to 20 minutes, it's all gone. 
And for the heavy rust, I use the Wapo Rust. It's another product. You just dump it in the tank, gets rid of all the rust. So you might want to use that if you got some rust going on. Whew, man, I think that looks great. Uh, it's a little monster truck in the front now because uh, there's no engine and it's on stock suspension. But I was really just looking for the fit man here. And that looks great right there. Whew. That's awesome. Maybe I gotta roll the fender a little bit more once I lower it. Then from the back. It's crazy what a set of wheels will do to a car. The front, the front might need some camber. Got a little, little bit of poke. Well, that's going to be it for this video. Uh, it's just a start, right? Get to see what the car is looking like. And then on the next video, this is what you're going to be seeing. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and install those seats and uh, see how it looks. So thanks again for watching, guys, and consider subscribing. And I'll see you on the next video.